Okay, here it is, the first day, and I'm in Luxor on the rooftop of my flat. Um, even my guide is still asleep. I've been up since six. <laughs> so I knew I wanted to get up early and make some videos. And last night I had a top what to bring list. So it's like a little bit windy outside. Okay, the sound is on. I got a nice one. I actually got a cow next door. You gotta hear him chime in every now and then. And here it goes. Okay, I'm gonna start over with my top 35 list. All right, and it's funny how it ends up being 35. But the number one thing I'm gonna tell you to bring is comfortable shoes because in the airport, they're gonna keep asking you to take off your shoes. And it is, it seems like not a cool idea to wear slides because you're going from airport to airport. But again, these feel good soles, they felt so good. These are made out of yoga mat. They got traction. They were good for sliding on and off with the proper amount of socks. It had like good support on my feet. And I'm a person, I can wear sketchers and, and actually still walk in the mall and my feet be hurt. But that was definitely like a number one, those comfortable shoes that you can slide on and off. I'll move this over here. Then number two would have been those baby wipes. Any kind of like baby wipes, um, bring your own TP because the bath, the bathrooms, they might even have thick paper, but it's, it's always the wrong kind of paper. Always the wrong kind of paper. So toilet paper and wipes is very important so you can start fresh and feel comfortable um, getting you a power pack. One thing about these things, this one is a gift, um, but I would definitely recommend don't don't take less than 10,000. Don't take less than 10,000, but I would actually recommend 20,000. Most of mine are 20,000 because you want to be able to charge like your phone several times without having to find a plug at the airport. I just don't care to do that. Um, well, you know, I see people do that. They plug it into the seat. I don't know how good those are. I've actually done it at the hotel before and the hotel lamp which I was also told not to do that, but the hotel lamp and they had some kind of shortage and this was in DC, it's a whole different thing, but my phone actually blew up from doing that. Um, yeah, so I like having those. You can charge your phone up several times because you just kind of don't know. You don't wanna walk off and leave your phone or anything like that, but I'll make that short. So those were top three. Uh, for it. So then there's a mist spray, something where you can moisten your face, even something you can put underneath your nose, if you know, uh, like a peppermint type thing to put underneath your nose, keep your nose clean and clear, um, avoiding the smells around you, but also kind of um, clearing your energy at the same time kind of blocking things and keeping things that are belong to yourself. I'm not sure if I said lip balm because I'm lipstick is one thing, but really lucky that I had some lip balm yesterday because whenever it goes on at the airport, you're in this dry air and it seems to be pretty damaging. I got some cool ointment from Nancy and Eric at my last convention over there in Illinois. This was a game changer. Um, 
because it's going to say you need like bombs and a little bit of first aid supplies, like something like band-aids or just in case you hurt your heels or something, you get snagged somewhere. But um, I was having some skin irritation and this was, I was able to just, you know, do this real quick. Uh, this is medicinal CBD salve. You can see that. So I wanted to definitely shout shout them out and I put their information in the link. But you've got to be uh, ready for little little cuts and bruises and things like that. Um, definitely with the power supplies and the proper power cords. But then traveling to other countries, making sure that you have the conversion device. I have a long conversion de device that looks like a, a surge protector. So you can put little USBs, you can put um, U USBs, and then you can also put your regular plugs in it. And then it has several little ends that you can put into the wall and it, it converts, so that's great. Um, Ziploc bags. Ever since I was in the army, I learned to always carry Ziploc bags with me. Number one, if you got individual lotions and stuff, like say, especially something like this, the, the last thing you want is for this to break inside your bag and you to have all this mess inside your bag. So I actually had that um, toilet spray, the poopery, and the poopery leak, but it was lucky because it was inside its own bag, but then it was also in this bag and the bag that it was in, was leaking, so it leaked out into this. I was able to rinse it off and still use it, just rinse it off. And this is also good for if it should happen to rain. The last thing that you want is to have your underwear and your socks wet. That's the thing that I learned in the army. So when I pack underwear and socks, you know, you put, put a certain amount in here, put a certain amount of socks in here, a certain amount of underwear in there. And then anything that could leak lotions and liquids, even your makeup bag, you might want to put in the Ziploc bag. It's, it's very uh, helpful. And then too, once you dirty up clothes and stuff, like after a day in the airport, I actually changed my clothes and put my old clothes in the Ziploc bag. So that was very helpful to keep smells and dirts and whatever. So everything else in the bag can stay clean Definitely the hydrogenated water bottles. And you can look that up, adding um, antioxidants to the water and turning your water into medicine, adding hydrogen to your water and making sure that you stay hydrated. It's so completely important. Um, I'm a little bit childish at times, so <laughs> I'm learning a hard lesson right now about hydration and how to rehydrate myself. Um, there's these little tablets as well that you can put in water that you can hydrogenate your water so that in case your bottle dies or you got these big liters of water or just to fill in in between that you can use i tried it the oxidation was great um it has a lot of um different kinds of acidics not that they're bad acidics but it does change the ph of the water to 4.8 rather than how this is gonna be probably about eight, between eight to nine in the pH. So those tablets are good and the supplements inside of it are healthy supplements, but oh yeah. Then I have liquid IV. I left that downstairs, my liquid IV, that was a thing. So now I have to change this list and change it to like 36 or 37. Liquid IV has its own, um, electrolytes inside it so that is very helpful for you staying hydrated the liquid iv but then i also have one with energy so that i don't have to drink um energy drinks and stuff like that so that was great so adding that to the water then there's dental dental tablets that you can take as well that there's natural bacteria, flora, that will help save your teeth that dentists have come together with. So, because they say basically that brushing isn't the way and mouthwash isn't the way to like actually save your teeth. 
So these were great because they're peppermint like you chew them. You can either swallow it or spit it out, but you kind of let it sit on your teeth for about 10 minutes and it helps promote your dental hygiene and keeps your breath clean. So this was cool for like put it in your mouth before you go to sleep, put about two of those in your mouth and you're actually like brushing your teeth at the same time. One thing I would say, I know how all the apps have these tickets where your, your ticket is online. Well, when you go to the airport and the Wi-Fi doesn't work, all that stuff is gone unless you take a picture of it, which hmm, could have took pictures of those. But then what if your phone's dead, right? So the old fashioned way of printing those tickets, I just think it's always helpful to have that stuff sitting there right there with your uh, visa and your passports. Go online and pre-do your visa if you can. That was the game changer. I had my passport and my pre-printed visa and I went right in the line. I didn't have to worry about, do I understand? Because last time, I think I was in line in Egypt and I did not understand what was being said to me. They were asking these questions and then they had this little tiny form that you fill out. They'll give it to you on the plane, but what if you already have it? I just like having things as much things done ahead of time as you can. Then um, I would say I learned a lesson just going to Illinois. Always bring your bathing suit. Because I did not know that we were at the cabin and they were going to have a hot tub situation. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this would have been so cool. But I know it definitely brought my bathing suit this time because we're going to go to the Red Sea. And I'm actually going to get to swim in the Red Sea, y'all. That's going to be great. Then masks and scarves. <sighs> People look weird in masks. And maybe you don't want to wear masks. But for some reason, as soon as you go to the airport, for some reason, people just go, <clears throat> by the time you hear that first person cough, I mean, it's just coughing. And I was on a flight where I actually wondered, why is this person on the plane? They were coughing the entire time. And me and this other guy in another seat, we were like, like, do you hear that? Do you hear that? And uh, luckily, though, even though I didn't have a scarf, I mean, even though I didn't have a mask, I had a scarf. And I like to cover my face with the scarf. But then I also... Put, put that scarf on my face, cover up myself while I'm sleeping. Cause I don't want, number one, <laughs> sometimes you fall asleep and I've done this before. And I was like, my mouth was open, <laughs> my head was all the way back. And I turned around, people were laughing at me. And you know, I don't even want to go with where my mind went when I woke up. Cause I was completely weirded out, but I don't want to, I don't want to be taken in someone else's coughing, sneezing while I'm sleeping. And so I pretty much put this scarf on and I put a blanket, that airport blanket over my head. And I just go to sleep when I'm ready to. That way I don't have to worry about the lights. I don't have to worry about people coughing in my face or I don't have to worry about me drooling and somebody catching me drooling, none of that stuff. So a scarf or a mask, something to cover yourself up is pretty cool. Um, Making sure you have sunglasses. I have medicated sunglasses for the trip, even though I'm scared that I'm going to lose them or break them because I, I lose track of stuff sometimes. But anyway, I'm going to do my best. And we're going to see if the end of this 32 days that I still have these medicated sunglasses or these prescription sunglasses, I got my fingers crossed that I'm going to be responsible with these glasses. <laughs> But even if I bring back one piece of the sunglass or sunglasses to America's best, if I bring back the pieces at least, if I don't completely, I paid the $25 for the insurance so I can go and replace them, right? Skin protection. I don't know what to say about some block for people, but definitely something without aluminum in it. You kind of have to do some research on skin bombs and things like that to make sure that you're not damaging yourself more than you're helping yourself because, you know, they're kind of finding that things inside these products aren't any good, you know, so you have to check out your skin protection. I already said with the Ziploc bags, making sure that you have extra socks, dry socks, thin socks, padded socks, thin socks. 
make sure that you have different kinds of socks. I actually, on the plane, had linen socks because I figured if I had some 5,000 um, frequency on my feet, that it would help. So between these shoes and those linen socks, was they're not very uh, elastic and they probably weren't very cute, but I was healthy, so I wasn't worried about it. Then making sure you go overboard with underwear. Go overboard with how many underwear you wear and bring <laughs> and keep them in the Ziploc bag. But you, you, you can hand wash underwear and stuff like that, but you just never know what's going to happen. Uh, you know, depending on your age or, you know, what you ate, you might have some kind of accident and maybe it might be time to abandon ship and you might want to get rid of those. You might run out, but don't, don't, don't go, um, don't go without going overboard there, go overboard on underwear. And then ladies, disposable underwear, always check your calendar for your cycle, y'all, so that you don't forget. But um, I pretty much, before I go on trips and stuff, I've had it well mapped out like there's apps with the one year calendar so you can always predict oh if I take a trip during this time will my cycle hit on that time and then you can make sure to stock up on feminine hygiene products for your trip it's super important you know you don't want to be stuck having to try to find an apothecary a drugstore and then what if the products aren't what you normally like um and then those overnight underwear and pads, I think that's very, very important. Underwear, important. Get a security type purse, a theft protection purse. Like this looks like a, just a regular bag, but this is actually made so that if you try to slash it, there's cord in here that won't allow it to be slashed. There's also protection in here so that no one can uh, scan your cards, your credit cards or your phone while it's in there. And I got this one on sale. This is a bagalini, but you can find these security devices for you know men as well. Those wallets with protectors, purses with protectors, bags with protectors. Um, I have another one that has a lock so that when you zip, when you actually zip it, It'll zip and it has a little lock at the end. So it'll it'll lock itself so you can actually lock it so nobody can just. And then you can also, like my last trip to Egypt, everybody was behind me like, something's falling out of your purse. But that would be my USB hooked up with my wire. I always just leave the battery in there, let the wire hang out. So I can just plug it in when I, when I feel like it. But evidently that scares people. So make sure that you have WhatsApp on your phone so that you can use Wi-Fi instead of always um, getting those roaming charges. But using Wi-Fi to text, um, I think the last time, last time my phone bill, my extra on the phone bill was almost $200 because I just kind of got tired of trying to find the Wi-Fi on the ship. The Wi-Fi on the ship, it was only in the common area in certain areas. And when I'm in bed, I'm not going to try to get out and go try to use Wi-Fi there. So that that was not going to happen. Um, I could have just went to sleep like I was supposed to, but <laughs> I don't know. I get the urge to talk to my family. So, and currency calculator is important. This last time when we went to the airport for a hundred dollars, the conversion rate with the fee turned out to be uh, maybe about 75 euros for a hundred dollars. But then when we left the airport, it ended up being 90 euros for a hundred dollars. So sometimes you can be in a hurry and that's the lesson to, if you're going to go out and about, don't be in a hurry to exchange that money, actually go someplace where you can get the best. And you could probably map that out. If you know where you're going, map it out. Or if you're getting a taxi driver, just uh, really to find the best rate because losing the whole $15 per hundred dollars, that would not be cool. 
Uh, so I learned a huge lesson from one of the other passengers with that. Um, even if you don't have a business, print yourself out a business card where you have your phone number and your email, or you can put this, get your own QR code where people can find you on Facebook, Instagram, um, whatever sites you have. Like I have Linktree and I went to Tiger QR to get a QR code so that all people have to do is scan my QR code and they can find all my, my, my information. So either get a QR code where you can just put a QR code sticker on the back of your phone or print, print you out a business card. That way, as you're meeting really cool people, all you have to do is give them your contact information. Or another thing too, if you're going to take someone's information and put it into your phone, take a picture of them at the time and make sure you write down something that's going to help you remember who that person is and why. So that's an old trick I had from selling life insurance is put the person's picture in there and put something, an identifier in there that makes that person significant to you. So after the trip is over, you know who you're talking to. Of course, you're going to ride a plane. So make sure that you have some gum possibly, or even those tablets, but gum to pop your ears. But I find that making myself yawn really does the trick. I don't chew gum for that. Make sure that you do have cash on you and larger bills so that you can deal with your vendors or your suppliers or guide, but smaller bills so that you can buy stuff buy little things on the street or to, you know, like when we were out in front of the Eiffel Tower, there was, you know, little knickknacks that you could get. You don't want to have to be like, oh, I only have a 20 because if you bust out a 20, they're going to want a 20. OK, so. Definitely make sure that you have smaller bills available to you. But you have a, a frequently used word list. Uh, I'm really embarrassed sometimes that I. <laughs> I know that shokran is thank you. And I know that la la, la is no. And, you know, I, I don't necessarily say salaikum asalam and asalam alaikum and things like that. But it's good to know words, numbers, the word bathroom. I know in Spanish it's baño. I don't know what it is, you know. But even I saw guides where you could have pictures where if and if you didn't know the word because you didn't feel comfortable saying it, you could just point to the thing that you needed. But it's just helpful to learn at least 10 words of the language. You know, I know that I'm here, inshallah. So, um, God willing, mashallah, you know, is basically saying, like, thank God for that, you know, um, just know some words and try to use them. My fear is that you use some words and then people will think you know a lot more words and then you're like, no, I can't speak that language. <laughs> so um, upgrade your luggage choices. Those new, new uh, multi-directional wheels, I was just saying to a lady, when they first put these wheels on the suitcases, that was freaking great. But these multiple direction wheels and you can go as fast as you want, don't skimp, get the multi-directional wheels. If you don't wanna pay a high price on it, go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Ross. Um, even Walmart was comparable, but I had really cool bags from um, Samsonite bags with 10 year warranty from Marshalls, but then they had another brand that had the five-year warranty and it had the hard shell. So just depending on what you're putting in your bag, you don't want things to get crushed and having that hard shell to bang around is a little bit better. Um, and then use the locks. And when I didn't have the locks, I actually used the rings that you put keys on since I didn't have a lock because who's gonna take the time to mess with that, you know? And some people know how to un unloosen lock. So when the two little zippers come, I just do that for where the key ring, I put the ring in there instead. Let's see. 
if you're going to temples and things like that and or anywhere you go, you want to leave gifts to Mother Gaia, take you some crystals that you can leave, some pearls, some beads of any sort, things that you want to leave so that you can leave a gift for Gaia so she remembers you and just receive blessings from Mother Earth or whatever temples you go to. It's just, it's really a good vibe to leave things wherever you go. Um, That's not garbage, you know? And then uh, my teacher, Magical Michelle, there's these little, little pieces of paper. They're colored and they're, I don't know, maybe two, two inches, two to four inches wide and maybe one inch uh, across, and uh, you can write little notes on it. So for the temples, you can just put them in little hiding spots, um, prayers or offerings that you wanna leave, and that's really cool. Um, Make sure that you got your proper hair care, hygiene products, and skincare. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, be responsible. Um, Take you some Vermicide and some condoms, married or single. You want to make sure, <laughs> unless you, you have a plan, um, make sure that you're responsible in that aspect. Let's see. And some people might not like this, but the TSA pre-check, I'm not sure how well it works. I know that now it's behind, but Supposedly, like you're you're able to take liquids on the plane. You're able to not um, get a body cavity search. I know some people don't like the idea of scanning your eyes, but that's something you can look into to see if it meets your level of comfortability. Um, one thing too, before you go, weigh your options on where you're going to park your car. Check out the airports, especially if you have any kind of like disability. They actually have discounts for disability. I just found out that as a veteran, a disabled veteran, that because I have the license plate, I was able to park for free. Trust ye me how much money you save because Park and Fly was over $300. Not only was Park and Fly over $300, the airport was about $300 because it was 30 days. You know, it's really, really nice to be able to come get out of the airport. And then I didn't know that too. You're basically like right at the terminal. You're right at the terminal that you need to be at when you're rolling your bags on in to elevators. It was actually a lot easier than the drop off, if you ask me. Um, but you know, last case scenario, well, not last case, you can get dropped off. You don't know about people's level of convenience or, you know, whose time, time. I'm kind of funny about asking people to drop me off at the airport sometimes because I don't want to be a burden. And I know you shouldn't think like that, but I think like that. But then two, what if something happens to them or their car, or if they wake up late? I, I, I like being in a position where I don't have anyone to blame but myself if I'm late or have a problem. But then two, when I get from the airport, from, from my trip, I don't have to worry about, are they later on time? Is my flight later on time? My car is in the parking lot. So I, 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 don't, I don't even wanna do the park and fly anymore. Of course, now I have this this parking, but now that I even see that park and fly is basically this uh, comparable to the actual airport, why bother? Then two, some park and flies are not covered. So then it's really hot on the inside of your car. Maybe you want to clean your car out to make it smell good before you drop it off too. It's nice to come home with your bed made up and your car smelling good, stuff like that. Ah, So then the last resort would have been Uber or Lyft. Um, Depending on what you're bringing, regular Lyft, Uber to the airport was $50. Then the, what's the other thing? The Uber Black for people with wheelchairs, accessories and things like that. That Uber Black was $150. 
So by the time you paid 150 twice, you may as well have had your car parked at the airport because that was $300. And guess what? I can pack my car ahead of time. I don't have to wait for a ride. I could have just parked in the parking lot. So by the time you mess with Uber Black, even, even to think the idea of $200 for a Lyft, no, $100, $100 $150 for a Lyft. Uh, I just I just think between um, parking at the airport, I just think that's a better thing. I think we've been avoiding it because we think it's a burden, but it's it just seems so much better, even even if you did have to pay because you're still paying for a ride or gas or whatever, and you just have that convenience. But that was thirty five top thirty five things with three extra things about the extra parking. So time for me to get my day started. Check you later.